IT. In fact, the most of people are interested in this sphere because of the high salary. However, I would like to bring you to the room which is not very bad, big as well as not very light. And there is a girl who has true passion and true interest on this sphere. And now she switches her laptop on, which is not very old and not very modern. And what she sees on the screen is loading bar for a while. However, even this unwanted interval couldn't put out the fire inside her. And now she opens some programs and some third-party software for her deed. Her laptop works, however, with a lot of freezings in between. Now, you know what? This girl was me. Looking at me, standing on the stage, I'm supposed to have done something unusual, right? So let's guess what it can be. Maybe I wrote a book related to computer science, which is one of the best sellers. But no. Maybe I created a company which is one of the giant companies. But again, no. OK, not yet. <laughs> so the real reason why I'm standing there is to spread our information and make you prepared for future computers. Well, it's not really a future computer. However, it's not in a use among people also. So it's still in development process. Now, you do remember a story from ordinary, passionate girl's life, don't you? And now, what do you think? Do our supercomputers or classical computers super or stable enough? Well, I don't think so. So this is where we come up to quantum computers, which is new, wonderful technology, which brings into reality our wildest ideas like teleportation, as well as plants and ideas like making a lawyer's job easier by predictive analytics, fast trading possibilities, fast distant collaboration, as well as accurate and instant translation services. Now, without further ado, let's take a look to what can we achieve through quantum computers. Information sharing would be exponentially faster, making distant collaboration far more easier. That could help both remote workers and attorneys working on international cases. As far as that goes, it could help even more by providing instant and accurate translation services. Quantum computers will have huge benefits on financial sector, from deeper analytics to faster trading possibilities. For financial institutions, that means lower processing costs and faster transactions. A win-a-win. -a -win. In fact, quantum computers will have significant legal effects, especially due to artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies. For example, privacy and security will be impacted because quantum computers can decrypt encrypted files much faster and easier than our conventional computers. Even so, as this technology becomes more accessible, it could help even more by providing useful tools for data analytics. Predictive analytics can help law firms to understand the most likely outcome of a case. Quantum computers may be new, but it won't remain inaccessible for long. So law firms need to keep an eye on this technology, both for their success in business, as well as for coming legal battlegrounds. But hold on, how can we achieve this all when we fail with our traditional computers? Well, now, without further ado, let's take a look what quantum computer is a little. Quantum computer is much more capable electronic device, which has several components. And its sophisticated system works through quantum superposition and quantum entanglement. In a very moment, let me tell you one fun fact. In late 2019, Google's quantum computer, Sycamore, calculated a complicated problem in 200 seconds, which would take millennia for our classical computers. 
Normally, bits are where information is stored, right? As binary, as zero or one. But stop, what is binary digit? Wow. If we will get a flow of electricity, that means true. And this is what one stands for. If we will get no flow of electricity, that means false. And this is what a zero stands for. So again, normally bits are where information is stored as binary, as zero, or one. But when we come to quantum computers, they're quantum bits, that's qubits. The representers, the basic unit of information, and it is the fundamental block of this electronic device, which can be zero and one, and all points between them simultaneously. And this is what we call as quantum superposition. And this is how quantum computers can solve several complicated problems in the same time. Quantum entanglement happens when particles interact with each other regardless of their distance, as if their quantum state cannot be independently described. Well, now let me give you an example. Imagine two glows and two boxes one of the glows, I put to box number one. The last one, I put to box number two. And now I separate them by placing to different places. And now let's open in our imagination the box number one. And let's imagine that I found out there a glow of my left hand. And now I can realize and find out that in box number two, I have a glow of my right hand, right? So this is an example of what Einstein told when he called this action as spooky action in a distance. However, it was verified later on. Quantum computer is the most important quantum mechanical phenomenon. The reason why it is so important lays in fact that microscopic particles like ions and photons can be mutually connected regardless of their distance. They this phenomenon. A leap from bits to qubits. This two letter change could mean entirely new horizons for healthcare. Quantum computers can bring supersonic drug design, the movement of, of hospitals to the cloud, the security of medical data via quantum uncertainty. Jaw dropping, isn't it? It's clear that quantum computers will have significant impact on organizations around the world. So it's vital to take it serious and prepare ourselves to potential risks. When it comes to cybersecurity, for example, potential consequences are devastating. So it's vital to prepare and take it serious. As well as we should uh, prepare ourselves and educate public, governments, businesses to what is coming, the good, the bad, to the reality of quantum computers. And how can we contribute to this wonderful, yet mind-blowing technology is at least spread out this information among youngsters and encourage them to study this technology, as well as math, physics, and computer science a little, as well as we can contribute to this sphere by leaving our opinions in websites related to computer science or quantum computers, which would take just several times, minutes, and a little passion. Thank you.